Hello students and welcome to the screencast on citations. The two things that we're going to do today is we're going to show you some online resources for creating citations and then we're going to go ahead and use one of those resources to help you create citations for a journal article, a website, and a book. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to show you today is a website called Son of Citation Machine. This is a pretty common website that people use. Um, we always caution people that, you know, this isn't an MLA or an APA endorsed website. So you always want to make sure that you um, understand what you're doing before you use it. The nice thing about this website, though, is if you know what information to put in, you can create a citation pretty quickly. The resource that I would like for you to use most often is called the Purdue OWL. And if you look over here, you'll see that there's an MLA guide and an APA guide. If you Google the words Purdue and OWL, this is the website that it'll take you to. We're using APA style today, which is American Psychological Association. In book form, it looks like this cover right here. And this is the standard for all things APA style. And really, you should get a copy if you can get one. Now, if you use MLA style, this is the book that you would use for that. And this is the MLA handbook for writers of research papers. Both of these items are available um, at the Maybe Library if you're there in person. But if you can't be there in person, your local library might have one as well. So let's go ahead and get started by creating some citations. We're going to go ahead and go into Articles and Databases. And we're going to click on Academic One File. And we're going to put in the keywords of health and music. And you'll see that I've already have them check marked to documents with full text and to documents that are peer reviewed publications. These two check boxes are pretty important. And we'll get to that later when we talk about databases. So we'll go ahead and click search. And all of these articles we see have come up. And the one that we're going to search is right here. So we're going to look at this. And we'll notice that um, when we open the article, it gives us the title. It gives us the authors. It gives us the source. And because um, I know this, but you might not know, Usually the first two numbers that are in this format after a title are the volume number and the issue number. So this would be volume 21, issue 1. And that will come in handy in just a second. This article came out in March of 2013. Here's a link to the article. And then there's the article text right there. So now let's go ahead and let's create a citation. We're going to go to the Purdue OWL and we're going to look up this APA formatting and style guide. And we have an electronic resource. So we're going to click on that. And we notice that they give us a variety of formats. And we're going to use this one right here. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And then we'll open a Word document or a Google Doc, whatever you're using, and we'll paste that in there. And there we go. That's the format that we want to have for this citation. So the first thing that they want is the two authors' names at the very beginning of this citation. So let's go back here and we can highlight the author names. and drop them into our document. And we notice that they want us to put the last names first. So we can go Lopez, Aparicio, and then they just want the initials for the first name. So we can do S period. And then there's an and symbol that goes in between them. And then the next author's last name 
and their first initial. And we notice right here that there's a period at the end of that and we do a space. And now we want to see the date of the publication, so we'll go back to our article and we'll see that it's 2013. And we note here that they want this in parentheses and now we'll put 2013. And if you note right here, there's a period. In APA style, after each piece of information, there's a period. So now they want the title of the article. In this case, the title of the article is right here. So we'll copy that real quick. Now there's a difference between the title of the article and the title of where the article is from. And the title of the article, the source, usually has um, a title that sounds like a periodic, periodical title. Like for instance, this one is Journal of Environmental Engineering and Landscape Management. But let's work with the title of the journal article real quick. And we'll paste that in there. And we'll notice that the format's a little different. So we want it to be Arial 24. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we'll take off the bold. And there we go. And we want a period at the end of that. And now we want the title of the online periodical. So we'll go back and we'll grab that title. And that's right here. Yeah. Ah. There we go. And we'll put that right in here. And we'll go ahead and resize that real quick. Now if you notice on this example, it's in italics. So we want to make sure that we put it in italics, which means it's going to be slanted slightly off to the, to the, to the right. And then we want to put this volume number also in italics with the issue number in parentheses. So if we go back here, we notice that the volume number is 21 and that the issue number is 1. So let's go ahead and type that in. And then we put a period after that. Now we want to include the address of where the article is from. And then we see right here that we have a link to this article. So we can click on copy and paste. And we want this to be the same style as everything else. So Arial 24. And we want to say the words. And then we undo this italics real quick. And we want to say retrieved from. So it's going to shift down a bit. And that's just because of how it's formatted. So there we go. We have the citation for that one. Now, in your paper, it's actually going to be Times New Roman. And it's going to be 12. So it's going to look more like that. This is what your citation will look like in your paper. We were just doing it bigger so that you could get a feel for what it looked like. So that is the basics of how you do a online journal article and it will always look like that. And you can see how nice and neat that is and how if someone needed to find that article, they have all the information they need to find it. Now the next thing that we're going to look for is a website. And we're going to use Google. So we'll go to google.com and we're going to type in health and music and we're going to look let's see here music and healthcare 
Now I'm not vouching for the validity of this website, but for our purposes, we want to get a good citation. So let's go back to the Purdue Owl and we want to look up an article from a website. So let's see what they got here. Online book reviews, data sets, online lecture, non-periodical web document, web blog and video web blog post. Let's look at this real quick. So this looks like it's an article from a personal website. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this as a non-periodical web document, web page or report. So let's go ahead and select this template right here. And we'll put that in our document right here. So this is the format that we want to use when we're crafting our citation. And we'll just make it bigger so you can see it a little bit easier. So once again, you'll notice that we want the author's information. So if we look here, we see that the two authors are Leo Wolf and Dr. Thomas Wolf. So let's go ahead and make citations. So they list Leo Wolf first, so it's L, and then we put this in here. And the next one is Thomas Wolf. All right. Now let's look for the date of publication. Now if we look down here we'll see the number 2007 and that's a good number to use usually is for the um, year of a website but we can also click here to download the report and look at it and see if it actually contains a date on it and in fact it does it's 2011 so we can go back here and put in 2011 Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the date of 2011 in here with that period. And then as you see, we want a title for the document. And the title is Music and Healthcare. So we can put that in there. Music and Healthcare. <coughs> Pardon me. And then we want to put Retrieved from the name of the website. And you see how easy that is by going and right clicking and copying and then we'll put this on here there we go and just so we can see what it'll actually look like in your paper make sure that you click on Times New Roman and then you click on 12 that's the acceptable um, font and font size for APA style so we have this first journal article now we have an online article and notice how we have all the information you would need to find this article. Now we're going to do a book. So let's go back to Purdue Owl and we'll scroll up to the top and we're going to do reference list of books. And now what we're going to do to find this is we're going to go back to the library webpage and we're going to look for a book real quick. And I'm going to type in health and music as we did before. So let's go ahead and click on this book. Let's see here. Oh, this looks like an interesting book. So now we're going to pretend like we actually have the book in front of us. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to this Purdue Owl and we notice here that this is a one author book so we can look for this basic format and we'll copy that again like we did before we'll put that into our document 
Now let's resize it so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we want the author of the book. And this is Lisa Wong, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. And before, as we did before, it's going to be the last name with the first initial. Now we want to see what year it was written. And it looks like 2012. So we can put that in there. And then we want the title of the book and the subtitle if there is one and it looks like there is so we'll go ahead and we'll just take this whole line right here for the title copy that and we'll drop that in here and we'll go ahead and resize that real quick okay and we'll put a period there and we see this instructions right here, title of the work, and then capital letters, capital letter also for subtitle. So let's do doctors who practice the healing arts of music and medicine. Now we want to know the publisher and where the publisher is located. So when we click on here, we see the publisher is Pegasus Books and they're located in New York. So we can just put in New York. Pegasus. And there we go. That's the information we need. And we're going to go ahead and resize this for our paper. And there we go. That's what our citation would look like. So, one final thing about citations, and we'll be ready to go. So we're going to take out all this stuff that we've written about citations. And when you include your citations, you want to make sure that you put the word, especially if you're using APA style, references at the top. You want this to be centered in the page. And you want these to be double spaced. And then you want these sections below it to be indented and it's a little hard to do that sometimes you just kind of have to play around usually you go over to the right a bit and then you bring that top one over to the back to the left and you get it right and then we'll do the same thing for this one so there we go Oh, let's get rid of that space real quick. And so this is basically what your citation would look like. Now let's go ahead and make sure that it is Times New Roman and 12. There we go. So this is what a references page would look like in APA style. Remember what I said on the screencast. It doesn't matter what's in your brain, your heart, or your gut. If it isn't in the book, it's not right. So here's the information that I've given you, and hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know, and good luck on the assignment for this course.